Of all our senses, it is our hearing that most connects us to the world around us. Until recently, people with severe to profound hearing loss may have had difficulty communicating with those outside their community. Today, technological breakthroughs are allowing them to regain this vital sense. Called cochlear implants, these devices are one of the most advanced, life-changing technologies in medicine today. Surgically implanted inside the ears, cochlear implants allow patients to either regain their lost hearing or hear for the very first time. For Lisa Jordan, the activation of her implants was a pivotal moment. After losing her hearing in 2007 due to a rapidly progressive familial hearing loss as well as noise exposure, she had adapted to a life with hearing loss. When she learned she was a candidate for cochlear implants, Lisa decided to go for it. Her life would never be the same. I was devastated that I could no longer appreciate music. And while I was fluent in sign language and could rely on interpreters to engage in meetings and to do my job efficiently, I just was missing that huge part of my life that meant everything to me and I was hoping that cochlear implants would give that back to me. Being able to easily converse with people, not only in quiet one-on-one -on -one situations, but also in meetings, in social situations, out in restaurants, has been a huge gift to me. There are two components to cochlear implants. The internal device includes a receiver and stimulator, which are implanted inside the inner ear. Externally, a device consisting of microphones, speech processor, and transmitter is worn outside the ear. The internal device is implanted surgically under general anesthesia. After one to four weeks of healing, the device is turned on for the first time. The way we traditionally hear is when sound comes into your ear, it stimulates the endings of a nerve called hair cells. And when those hair cells aren't working very well, or you don't have enough of them, you use a hearing aid. When it reaches some critical level, hearing aids aren't beneficial anymore. And when we get to that point, we use a cochlear implant. The cochlear implant bypasses the hair cells and directly stimulates the nerve that lets you hear. So it takes the sounds from the outside world, converts them to a digital signal that then goes down the electrode and actually stimulates the nerve directly to allow you to hear. Cochlear implants restore both types of hearing loss, prelingual and postlingual. Prelingual patients lost hearing before they learned to speak. For them, cochlear implants provide them with first awareness to sound. The age of implantation will determine how much speech understanding the patient will be able to receive. Children implanted at a young age can develop speech and language at the same rate as their normal hearing peers. Postlingual deafness is a hearing loss which develops after the acquisition of speech and language. Many patients in this group have had a gradual loss of their hearing. Cochlear implantation often allows a return of hearing and an excellent understanding of speech. When Katie Saunders lost her hearing after a bout of meningitis, her family hoped cochlear implants would help restore her back to her vibrant, outgoing self. She woke up one day and started saying, Mommy, I can't understand you. And I was talking in a regular voice, and she kept saying, Stop tricking me. I can't understand what you're saying. So um, I knew something was wrong. It's a miracle to me, the fact that she can hear now. I didn't think that she would be able to hear. I thought she would be deaf and I'd be learning sign language and that she wouldn't be mainstreamed in school. I thought she'd have to have tons of special needs, and she doesn't. Um, I can hear better, and um, I can hear my friends better. Today, hundreds of thousands of patients have received cochlear implants. Children as young as 12 months to seniors in their 90s can all be considered candidates. As with any medical device, cochlear implantation is an evolving technology. As the science continues to advance, the spectrum of patients who can benefit will broaden. Cochlear implants have come a long way. It's one of the most technologically advanced medical devices in the world today. And when we look at what's coming in the future, on the fairly near horizon, there are some really exciting changes. There's a lot of research going on to fully implantable cochlear implants, so you don't have an external device at all. The cochlear implants are incredibly underpenetrated in both the United States and even more so the world. Some of that's financial. A lot of it is just recognition that this technology exists and that people are candidates for it. So for anyone with a hearing loss who's wearing hearing aids, who's not being helped to an adequate level, they should be referred on to a cochlear implant center. 
The Greater Baltimore Medical Center is changing the lives of those with severe hearing loss. The team at the Cochlear Implant Center at GBMC uses the latest advances in cochlear implantation to restore hearing, a feat almost unimaginable a generation ago. From candidacy testing to surgery to follow-up, these caring professionals work hand-in-hand -hand with their patients as they embark on this life-altering journey together. You know, we can take someone either who was born with a profound hearing loss, who on their current trajectory will never hear, or someone who has developed hearing loss or had a sudden hearing loss and now is cut out from the outside world. And in the span of an hour and a half or so of work in an outpatient procedure, we can take them from a life without hearing to a life often with near normal hearing and no special needs whatsoever. And there's very few things in medicine that we can have that quick of an impact on somebody's life. It's amazing. Uh, it's as close to magic as you can get, at least in anything that I can do. The team at the Cochlear Implant Center also educates providers, patients, and insurers about candidacy and the great benefits of cochlear implantation. It's about a million dollars to educate a child with a profound hearing loss through age 18. So there's a very easy ROI. From an insurance standpoint, uh, we initially had to fight for every implant. And then the fight became about doing a bilateral or a second side. So much science came out showing how much benefit these patients got from having an implant in background noise situation, able to localize the sound where it's coming from, that we rarely now have that argument as long as we present them with the correct data. Learn more about cochlear implantation at gbmc.org slash cochlear.